So this is an old benchtop power supply kit that I built up. It was a kit from um, Dick Smith a while ago. And it, it used to have an old panel meter on the front, but um, the resistors that are inside were 5%, and I think they weren't really as accurate as they intended to be. So um, the panel meter was always reading too low voltage for um, what was actually coming out. So I always had to have a multimeter plugged in and uh, just got annoying. See, I mean, it would read eight volts, but really 12. Um, so I decided to replace it with a digital one. So this is the display for the digital panel that I got. It's um, three characters and it's uh, three seven segment characters. So if we crack it open, you can take a look at what's inside. So here's the insides. Basically, it's just um, a prototype board that I've got. Um, I've sort of a 3.3 regulator at the top there. That's just connected to um, the input voltage, which I think is about 30 volts or so. Um, that's based on the LM317 IC. Um, and then I've got resistors in the middle that connect the display to the MSP microcontrollers down the bottom. And um, on the side is um, a multi-turn trim pot which um, is used to calibrate the voltage that's displayed on the front panel. So this is the schematic. Basically, it's just um, an MSP microcontroller in the center. This one's a G2452 part. Basically, any part that has ADC input, um, ADC10 input, and enough pin strap character display will be fine. The display is just um, three seven-segment displays. Multiple. There's a resistor on the reset pin. And then on P1.1, we have the ADC input, which goes through a small RC filter there, and via the multi-turn trim pot. And you shouldn't forget to add in the decoupling capacitors, because without them you find that you get a lot of noise on the ADC. So you just put in like a 100N and a 100UF. So as you can see, it's very effective at displaying the voltage. So right now it's at 5 volts. Um, the pot that is on the front panel is just a single turn pot. So it, it is very fiddly, kind of, to get just the right voltage. Um, but once it's set, it doesn't drift, which is good. So overall, this project's been pretty successful in replacing the old chunky um, panel meter with a nice small LED digital panel meter. Fortunately there was a large hole in the front of the case so I just covered up with some paper. Um, I didn't have any black paper at the time so I'll replace that in the future but for now it seems to work so it's, it's all good. Thanks for watching.